Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. I'm going to show you how to create a green screen effect using DaVinci Resolve. I've got version 16.2 loaded up here on the MacBook Pro and I've also pre-prepared some footage of myself on a green screen background and I've also got a couple of clips that I'll use underneath that layer. So once we knock out that green layer, you can see what it looks like as a final product. Now, for those of you that are familiar with my videos, you've probably seen some of my work on how to uh, perform edits using Premiere Pro on iMovie. And I've also just started doing some tutorials on DaVinci Resolve. And if you're wondering why I'm now getting into this program, it's really because I was looking for an alternative to Premiere Pro, a program that had the same kind of feature set yet didn't come at the costly monthly fee that we have to pay using the Creative Cloud software. Now there's a free version, which I'm demoing today, and there's also a paid version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you are looking at an alternative to Premiere Pro, then I think DaVinci Resolve is a really good option. And also for those of you that have been checking out my videos on iMovie, if you're wanting to up your video editing game, get access to more advanced features, more control over your color correction, advanced typography tools. There's so many more features you get in DaVinci Resolve. And if you are interested in checking out some of the basics on how to use it, I'll leave a link to that video that I created in the description box below, which is a really good overview and an insight into just how to get started with DaVinci Resolve. And once you check that out, you'll see how it really is quite intuitive and easy to use and it certainly is a viable alternative to either Premiere Pro or iMovie if you're wanting to step up your game. But back to the task that we have at hand today, and that is specifically how to edit out a green screen from your footage using DaVinci Resolve. So let's get started. So the first step is gonna to be to drag the background layer onto the timeline. And then once you do that, grab the green screen footage and drag that on the layer above. So we now have two layers of video. Video track one has my background element and video track two has the green screen footage. The next step is to go into the color correction tool, which is the fifth menu along on the bottom menu. Tap on that. And then you should see a nodes window in the top right hand corner. If you can't see that, click on the nodes menu to make it visible and then place your mouse in the nodes window, right click on it and select add alpha output. Once you've done that, drag the blue line across to the blue icon on the right hand side. And we've now created our alpha channel on that video footage. The next step is to click on the qualifier icon in the color correction set of tools on the left. And once you've done that, we need to go in and knock out the green from the background. So to do that, we can click on the selection range. I'm gonna pick up the dropper tool and make a selection in the green section of the footage. And as you can see, it's knocked out and created a mask, but in reverse. So I'm gonna go and invert that mask by clicking on the invert icon. Obviously it's far from perfect at this stage, but don't worry, we're gonna quickly clean this up. We're gonna to add to our selection by clicking on the dropper with the plus icon and continue to select areas of green within our footage until most of that green disappears. So we do the best job we can. So we're looking much closer now, but there's still a lot of green fragments in the footage. So in order to clean that up, there's a couple of things we can do. So now we're going to use the matte finesse tools in order to clean up this mat. The first thing I'll do is apply some denoise. Let's go up to around one. Clean black, we'll put a figure of 10. Clean white, five. And it's almost, in fact, we'll go to 12 on the clean black. Denoise, two. And I have to say, we're looking pretty good already. Blur radius, let's go to five. To give it a bit of a test, let's go back to our edit window and play some of that footage. And I've got to say, that's pretty close. I can make some more refinements to that in a moment, but what I can see is that I need to cut out some of this footage on the right-hand side. So what I want to do next is cut into the green screen footage so that I'm masking out the unnecessary aspects of the scene. So it's going to give me a cleaner mask and get rid of unnecessary background elements like this background stand and the white wall. So in order to do that, we're going to go back into our color correction tool. 
And now we're going to apply a mask over the footage. So we're going to click on the window tool. And for this example, I'm just gonna use a square mask and we're going to mask into that footage. So I've got to make sure that I've got enough room around me when I'm moving my arms. And now if we go back, you can see that I've completely got rid of that background element and we have a much cleaner mask. Let's take a look at that. That's looking fantastic. You can still see a little bit of green around the edges there. So I can actually make a further refinement to this mask by going back into the qualifier tool and selecting the second menu option and changing the radius. Let's make a selection of three. Now let's go back to the edit mode and take a look. And as you can see, we have a much cleaner looking edge and virtually eliminated all of the green around the edges. So that's a much better key. If I play that from the beginning now, let's take a look. 100%, that's looking so much better now. And the only thing left for me to do now is to make changes to the positioning and crop of that footage. So I'm gonna use the transform tool on the right and I'll zoom in to 1.3 and reposition the subject matter. And that's the final green screen. Let's take a look. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified of up and coming video releases. And as always, if you do have any questions about what you've seen here today, feel free to put those questions in the comments box below. And I'll certainly endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.